back for another video a uh, video of this week is uh, it's on a, on the expert 1k fa um, I bought this linear or oh, quite a few years back now off a mate of mine Mick um, so yeah give me it for a good price but uh, yeah we'll just have a quick look at at, uh, at the linear um, you got your off and on button let's just turn it off for a second actually but I've got it all on automatic through the cat control. So when I turn the radio on, it's, it's on two radios, this uh, linear. It's on a, a Yaesu FTDX101D. Oh, two meters jumped into life. That's the first thing I've heard in months. <laughs> um, and uh, the other radio is a Sun SDR2 Pro, um, which obviously I use, I use the linear, obviously, to get more power. It's only a QRP. Uh, uh, radio, but anyway, so if I turn the 101 on now As you see it comes on automatic, but you have got an on and off button uh, This is your power. So if I press power watch the display Half power full power and there's obviously the display to change your uh, display and your operate button. So at the moment, it, I, I can check the SWR, everything else. But if I go on operate, it's ready to rock and roll. So I'll take it off operate. Then you have your set button. I'll go into this uh, a little bit further on. Uh, and you up and down arrows and side to side arrows for when you're... Uh, uh, putting inputs into this uh, into into the uh, linear then you have your cat control and your antennas so you can manually do your antennas excuse me I'm going to cough <coughs> you can manually uh, do the antennas uh, but I, I, as I said I've got this on automatic um, you've got your bands up and down but yet again it's an automatic and this is your input so as it, it's got input two here input one so that's for the uh, Sun SDR and that's for the 101 then you have a tune button um, you can you can have this set on man it's, it's got a tuner in it you can have it set on manual uh, but I usually manually uh, auto sorry uh, but I usually do it uh, manually um, and these the, this is how to, to tune your, 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 your L and C buttons uh, to tune the uh, uh, amplifier so let's just go back to set at the moment so if I go to set this is how you, uh, you this is how you set things up you can't control so you so you can't control you'll be um, setting whatever radio it, it, it's set to so yeah you see icon etc on the top one it's antennas so your antennas if I press antenna This is how I've got my antenna set up. So you've got um, two lots. So uh, as you can see here, 160 meters, I've got no antenna and one antenna. So you can have two antennas. So you can have a vertical or, uh, or a horizontal and etc. etc. as you go down. As you can see, I've got uh, two antennas on 80, two on 40, two on 30, uh, 20 meters, two antennas. And going down to obviously 10 meters and all you've got to do then is you you press save so this is how the the next buttons come across so you set your antennas so what you want so you can go up and down on the arrows and then you go to save and you just press set so that's how you do your antennas um, like I said, everything's automatic. Uh, your cat control, so if I go back to set again, your cat control, if I press cat, hang on, go down to cat. You, you can uh, select um, 
your inputs for Yesu, ICOM, etc. So let's just press set. So as you can see, uh, Yesu, Tentec, Flex, Radio, uh, and it's the YRS232, which is connected to the back of the linear, and obviously it goes to the radio. And that's the interfacing. So let's just go to confirm. Hang on, let's go back up a minute. Go to Yesu. Set. Yeah, so this is all the different radios it can do. Um, so I've got it on the one on one D at the moment. So this is how you actually set up for different radios. Like I said, but it'd be Icon, Tentec, whatever radio it is, is how you set it up in the uh, in the linear. So let's just press set a moment. So yeah, we're back back to uh, the radio. So if I press, if you look on the meter here, on the band, I'm on input two, which is the AC. And I'm on 40 meters. So if I go to 10, it just tracks which band you're going on to, as you can see. So, yeah, it's a simple setup. Let's go back to 40 a minute. Uh, I'll just do a quick change. Let's just get on a frequency that's not in use. You can see in the scope there's no one there. So, now if I put a carrier out, where's the foot switch gone? If I put a carrier out, you can see the SWR. So if I put the carrier up a little bit and I press the tune, the tune button, now it's 1.03 1 SWR. And all you do then is go back to your mode of SSB and it's now tuned. So let's just put this on operate. And give this a test. Let's just turn the, uh, the output power down. You only need about five watts to put 400 watts out uh, uh, on on this particular band on the 40 meters. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, G zero DTX. Just testing. So there you go. Uh, take it off. Operate again. So that was uh, five watts in and uh, nearly 500 out. Uh, the higher up you go up the band, um, 20 metres up to 10, you might have to put some more uh, RF power into the actual linear. But uh, yeah, a simple linear, uh, but a cracking piece of kit. Um, like I said, uh, uh, I got this off a pal of mine, uh, Mick, uh, UEX, I think, uh, G0 UEX, I think his call sign is. If I've got it wrong, Mick, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just doing this video on the fly. So uh, yeah, he's uh, one of the uh, co-owners of uh, hamradiodeals.co.uk. If you ever want any second-hand equipment, uh, I can uh, uh, tell you with uh, great uh, enthusiasm, th enthusiasm to go to that place. Um, it's, uh, it's it's monitored by uh, uh, John and Mick uh, to make sure there's no uh, scams going on. And I think that's the only site that uh, uh, actually shows due diligence. To be quite fair. But anyway, it's just a quick video. I'll send 7.3 for now. And uh, just a quick look into into the linear. Uh, and if you're thinking of getting a linear, I, I'd, I'd, I'd advise an expert, to be quite honest with you. Um, they're not that heavy. Um, they go on the expeditions with these things. You get a carrier bag with it when you buy, buy the be, buy linear. linear. Uh, sorry, I'm getting all tongue-tied again. Um, but uh, yeah, the great piece of kit, you, and obviously you can put two radios in in the back of it. Uh, so say you've got an ACOM or something like that, um, a seven uh, a seven ten, uh, not a seven ten, a ten ten. Can't think of the see, I can't even think of the name of the the, uh, uh, the ACOMs. But yeah, you usually got one input, so th this you can run two. I know uh, the new ICOM radio, uh, you can put two inputs in as well. But anyway, I'm just waffling now. And uh, like I said, it's just a quick uh, look at the SPE Expert 1KFA. Nice 
bit of kit to the shack and uh, certainly gets you over them pile-ups. Anyhow, 7-3 for now, GZRDTX. Thank you.